Good morning, friends. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Merry Thriftmas, day number 13. Today, instead of thrifting, we're going to an estate sale. I just woke up, so excuse my morning voice, but first thing, I'm going to this estate sale. It's a little bit further than me, so, from me, so I gave myself some time to get out there, and today's the first day of the sale. Sometimes I go the first day of the sale, sometimes I go later. It really just depends, and a lot of people asked me in my last video about like haggling at estate sales and bargaining and things like that, and you usually can't bargain the first day there's like no discounts but sometimes the second third day etc they do offer discounts so it really just depends on the sale and who's having it but today I'm going to the first day of the sale and honestly the end of the year isn't really the best time for estate sales I noticed they kind of slow down around the holidays so there were still quite a few to pick from I'm in Atlanta and um, I don't mind driving for sales so there are some like you know, all around Atlanta and the suburbs, and I usually just pick based on the photos on estatesales.net which one looks like it might fit, like the type of items I'm looking for and if they show any clothing. So the one I'm going to today, I don't know, I say this every time too, it could be a hit or a miss. They really didn't show a lot of clothing. However, it did say it was a downsizing sale and then it also said like newer stylish furnishings. And when I looked at the photos, I could tell by the types of items they had that it could potentially be my style. Like I saw some different crystals. I saw a photo that had like a Dior bag, like a, a picture of a Dior bag, like artwork. Um, I saw a lot of like beachy theme stuff, which isn't necessarily my style, but that could mean they have like, I don't know, just something that I might be interested in. So that's kind of how I made my decision on going to this sale, and it is a little further from me, so I'm about to head out, get there. I'll probably get there early. I'll probably listen to some podcasts like you guys suggested to me in my last estate sale video. I got so many good recommendations for podcasts. I can't wait to listen to all of them. And then the other thing I want to do today is send offers to likers on my Poshmark closet. So I'll talk more about that later, but let me go Go ahead and head out to the sale and let's see what we can find. I thought I'd do something different today and walk you guys through the estate sale. So here I am going up to the house. I was actually the first one here and when I went in I was looking for the clothing obviously so I go to the bedrooms and I check out the closets and this one just had a few items in it. Nothing too exciting, some longer dresses but nothing my style. They did have a ton of these Ikea bookshelves everywhere but I didn't think I needed any more storage. So I'm heading to another bedroom. Excuse my finger, I don't know what I was thinking when I was filming this, but the bedrooms were pretty empty. This one seemed like a child's bedroom, and then looking at the shoes and everything, I saw they were kids' sizes, which I don't sell a ton of kids, and again, nothing like too quality or anything my style. So while I peek through everything, I didn't look too in depth. And then I'm going to head out and see if there are more bedrooms. I know I haven't come across the master. Um, this one seems like another guest bedroom. Nothing in there for me. They did have a lot of nice furniture and art, but not my style. So this was considered the master bedroom closet. And when I go in, I usually look at like accessories and shoes first before I look at clothing. So I saw the bags up there. Um, these shoes, again, nothing my style. And... I'm going to peek through the clothing, but I could already tell that I probably wasn't going to find anything here. Um, no exciting brands. It was a lot of like Faded Glory and like Target brands, Walmart, um, but more plain styles. So not even anything I'd be interested in based on style. Um, that was a weird dog t-shirt. And then I always check out like the other rooms too because you just never know what you're going to come across. And again, a lot of furniture at the sale. It was pretty clean and organized. It was a downsizing sale, I believe they said. So um, yeah, they were just getting rid of stuff. It wasn't like it was a lot of vintage. It was just a lot of furniture from this larger house. Okay, so I'm going back down to the main level. The bedrooms were upstairs, and there was a bunch of jewelry here. Um, the guy that was having the sale told me she was a jewelry rep for some costume jewelry line. He didn't know the name of it, and I didn't recognize any of it. Um, I was checking out a few of the pieces because I do like to sell jewelry, but it just didn't feel up to like my standards as far as quality and the style I like to get, so I passed on all of that. Um, saw this random bag, not really my style again so 
yeah, just taking a quick peek around the house. It was a really nice house. And then looking at this other area with yet more jewelry and also a lot of the beach accessories that I mentioned before. Like if someone was furnishing a beach house, this would be the perfect place to come because you could get so much stuff for such a great deal. Okay, nothing in there, so I'm going to head downstairs to the basement. The guy said there was just a bunch of stuff downstairs, and this basement looked pretty clean. <laughs> Some of the other ones I go to can be a little sketchy, and the basement scare me sometimes, but this one was really nice. A cool vintage butterfly bag, but it was broken, and then over here is just a lot of artwork, more storage shelves. Again, I couldn't use them, but that would have been a great deal for someone that needed storage. So definitely check out estate sales if you want more storage for your house. Um, some random clothing, more furniture. I did like this basement a lot. I liked they had a pool out back. That was super cool. That's probably why they had a lot of beach stuff. Lots of like arts and crafts and supplies and things like that. Desk supplies, office supplies. They had some old roller skates and roller blades, and if they had been my size, I might have gotten a pair because I feel like rollerblading is a really good workout, and I haven't done it in forever. Um, they had a random outfit on a mannequin down here. Again, not my style. <laughs> um, let's see. What else did they have down here? A ton of artwork, like just baskets full. I think one of the members of the family was an artist, and then this was the room of picking. So a lot of houses have a room like this or sales that aren't set up where there's just boxes of stuff that you can go through. So I saw a bunch of clothing boxes and I kind of peeked through, but I could tell by the clothing upstairs and then just looking at a few of these. Again, it was a lot of like Walmart and um, just stuff that I don't typically sell. So I saw some shoes. These were kind of moldy and then it just turned me off from looking at the rest. I decided this probably wasn't the sale for me. So yeah, um, you never know until you go inside. And let me know down in the comment section if you like this, how I do a voiceover versus music, or if you want me to change it up and do both. I'm curious. Okay, that sale ended up being a total bust. Um, there was a little bit of clothing, but nothing that was like very good as far as brands or quality or anything that was my style. So I ended up not getting anything at that sale. And I'm in an area that I'm not normally in. So what I think I'm gonna do, cause I only spent like 10 minutes looking around in there, is just look up thrift stores that are in this area. Okay, so I'm close to a Goodwill that I haven't been to in a really long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and head there and see if I can find anything. And I'll probably only make that one stop today because I do have some boutique inventory I got in yesterday, some wholesale stuff that I need to get listed and then I could spend the time cleaning my house. So hopefully I'll find something at this Goodwill so I can get some new listings up tonight besides just boutique. But if I don't, that's just how it happens. So this is the Goodwill that I decided to stop at. Again, one that I haven't been to in probably over a year. Um, I saw someone coming out. I tried not to get people on camera like intentionally. And yeah, we're gonna go in and go shopping. Um, I am recording this voiceover later and I will say I filmed most of the footage the wrong way on my phone. I've been filming in the stores on my iPhone and I was holding it the right way, but like for some reason the phone screen was locked differently. So I barely have any footage in here. I'm sorry, but I'm going to share my haul of what I picked up when I get home. So I'm going to show you that in just a minute. I'm going to start off today's haul with the shoes I picked up at Goodwill. I found two pairs of boots and the first pair caught my eye because they're just a really sleek black booty and I love how they have this hidden wedge. I could just tell by touching them they were really good quality leather and they are by Vince. They are a women's size 8. I do need to clean up the bottom of them just a little bit. You can tell there's some gook on them but otherwise they're in really good condition. They're very clean inside so I picked those up. And then the other pair of shoes I got are these Ugg booties. You can see the Ugg logo on the back there. And they're almost like a moto style boot. I don't know exactly what to call it, but they have these harness straps on them. And they're just a pull on leather boot. Um, these are in good condition on the bottom. Like there's really not a lot of wear to the heels. However, there's like a couple spots on the side of the heel. Like you can tell right here where a chunk is missing. 
Um, they don't look too bad, but I'm going to probably list them a little lower than I would if they were in perfect condition, but I think they're still a really good find. Here are today's clothing finds, and they're all tops, which is my best-selling category. So the first one is this graphic tee. I love the motorcycle graphic on it. It just says Highway Warrior, and then it has the lace-up detailing on the shoulders, and it's just by Forever 21. It's a size large, but I picked it up based on style. I just think that goes with the theme of my closet. The next graphic tee says Crim de la Crim, and it is by Signorelli. This one is made in the USA, and it's a size large. I've actually sold this Garth Brooks t-shirt before. It's the Oasis. I've got friends in low places, and the back has some lyrics on it, blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots, and it is a size large, so I always love my like graphic band tees and things like that. This one is so soft. Okay, the next shirt I was really excited about because this is a brand I've never found before and it was on my thrifting bucket list. So I found out about this brand through Instagram. It's called Doen and I saw someone else pick it up. They showed comps and it does resell for quite a bit. People collect it. So this is a size extra small. I'm um, really pretty ruffle blouse. It's excellent quality made in India. Um, size extra small. I'm not sure if I said that, but I'm going to go ahead and check out comps and everything on this specific blouse. But if you ever see this brand, Doen, definitely pick it up. Got an anthropology top. I think I've sold this top a couple times before as well. It's a really pretty long sleeve Henley top. It's by Tiny from Anthropology. It's a size medium. This one's in excellent condition. It honestly looks like it's never been worn. And then the final item is this really pretty poncho. It's just a pullover style. It zips on the neck. And then it also has a hood. And I've never heard of this brand, but I could tell it was really good quality. It's called Soul. Um, it's made in Peru, and this is made of 100% baby alpaca, and again, I just love the design on this, so I think um, it'll do well. I just have to look up a little more information about this brand and everything like that. Okay, the other thing I want to share with you guys are some boutique or wholesale pieces that I just got in that I'm going to be listing in my Poshmark closet. So I've been selling boutique for about a year, which is when you purchase new from a manufacturer, a vendor, and I go to the America's Mart in Atlanta, and that's where I find a lot of my boutique inventory, and I've been really into like bags and accessories lately. So when I saw these, I knew I had to have them. And this first one, I'll show you the bag first. Um, this, I actually have some other stuff styles like this in my Poshmark closet, but I had ordered this one at the last market in October and it was back ordered. So I just got this one in and I love how you can carry it as a clutch or you can carry it as a crossbody with the strap and this is all like hand tooled leather and then also hand loomed in India. They're really high quality. And then the other items I got in are these three Weekender bags, which I'm really excited about. I have another style of Weekender in my closet that is a little on the pricey side because because it's made with real leather, a lot of real leather, and then also it's woven like the saddle blanket style. But this is another option I wanted to get that's a little more budget friendly. And again, it's that cool saddle blanket style woven with the faux suede handles. I'm pretty sure they're faux. I need to contact my vendor and make sure. Um, but they just zip on the top. I have them filled right now so I can show them um, how they look when they are full of stuff. But I really like all the colors they used and again they're excellent quality really heavy duty they're great for travel for school for the gym so i'm gonna get those listed today as well okay it is much later in the night i actually just woke up from a three hour nap because i was exhausted and i think i've just been going non-stop and i needed to listen to my body and take a nap and it's funny because I'm actually a big napper I've always been like my roommate in college knew I had to take a nap every day and like I don't know I just have always been someone that needs to nap and I have not napped since I started thriftmas so today it was much needed but anyways I wanted to come on here and end off the video I didn't get everything done I wanted to get done today because I did take a nap so I didn't do offers to likers, which I talked about in videos before. I like to send out offers to likers to my entire closet at once, and I usually try and do it like once a month. So today I was going to do it. I kind of mentioned it earlier, but I just didn't have time to get to it. So I'll probably do it in the next couple of days. It just really depends. And then I did want to answer another question from you guys um, that I started the other day. So I picked out a question from Tari and she asked, how do you model a piece of clothing and take a picture? Do you use your phone? Thanks. So this is a good question. I get this question a lot. Um, 
I do use my phone. I use my phone to take all my photos. So when I'm modeling an item, I actually have this tripod that I ordered on Amazon. I'll link it in the description box down below. And I always try to link a lot of stuff down in the description box. I have like an Amazon reseller supply list where I link a lot of my equipment. Um, but this is a tripod that has like a little attachment for you to put your phone. And it comes with a wireless Bluetooth remote that syncs with your phone. So what I do is put my phone into the tripod and then hook up the remote and I use the front facing camera that way I can look at the screen and see if I'm in the frame where I'm standing how I want the photo to look and I do take a lot of photos so for one item I might take I don't know like 30 photos of that item because I want to make sure I get at least one good photo and um, yeah it's really easy with the clicker you can either use it in your hand which is what I do a lot but sometimes I don't want it to show like if I'm holding a bag or something like that I don't want to hold the clicker or the remote so I will put it in my mouth <laughs> and I will click it with my teeth so hopefully that's not too weird um, it's clean I I mean I clean it so yeah I, I do that sometimes so I don't have to worry about like where I'm holding the clicker but at the same time I don't think people really care because they're not looking at your hand or the remote they're looking at the article of clothing and I also usually cut off my head pretty much most of the time because I want them to focus on the item and I make really weird faces and if I'm holding the remote in my mouth who wants to see that so that is what I do and a lot of people ask if modeling items helps sell an item or sell faster or you know whatever make it more desirable and the answer is yes or no I think it definitely helps give the buyer an idea of what the item is gonna look like but I don't think everything necessarily has to be modeled while I model my boutique stuff because I don't like to use stock photos for that for like thrifted and pre-owned inventory I kind of pick and choose what I want to model it depends how much time I have because it does take a lot of time I obviously can't fit into everything and then I try to pick the more unique items items that maybe need to be shown styled or like how they fit especially if it's like a unisex men's sweater and I want to show how it looks on a female then I'll model that um what else uh t-shirts and stuff like that I do sometimes but I try not to do it on items that I don't think it's going to be worth my time so something that might sell for a little bit less or if I think something's really popular and going to sell anyway then there's no need for me to take that extra time and model it so it really just depends on the item and like I said like I can't fit in everything so don't feel like you have to model your items I know not everyone's comfortable with it and it's not necessary so it's just totally up to you but if you want to check out um, the tripod that I use like I said linked down in the description box below and hopefully that answers your question so thank you guys for submitting your questions to see if there's anything else I have in my notes um yeah I think that's about it for the evening I'm not sure where we're heading tomorrow thrift store probably because I don't think there are any other estate sales I want to go to but um, I'll probably double check again before bed. Today's estate sale, kind of a bust, just goes to show you never know what you're going to find, but you won't know until you go. And I'm glad at least I went to that Goodwill and found a few things. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and of course I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good night. Bye.